गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड फिलोसोफर गाइड एंड वेल विशेष आई हैव समथिंग टू शेयर विथ यू टूडे विद इन ए कपल ऑफ डेज टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू बी एटी ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई वॉन्ट टू एक्नोलेज माई ग्रैटिट्यूड टू ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज यू हैव look after me in last 80 years and because of you i am what i am today without your blessings guidance and love i would have not been able to achieve what i have been able to achieve as you say some of you have asked me what is the greatest thing i have achieved in my life my greatest possession in my life is happiness of life some of you had asked me before also why you call yourself a happy person and how did you achieve that how can happiness be achieved i replied to them that i am a happy person for power of love i today realize that power of love is the most important thing what is the purpose of life some of you have asked me purpose of love is to foster and create happiness within the society where you live you cannot communicate fully with the people which is far off from you but you can communicate with the people who is around you if you love the people around yourself they will return back with double the power the same love and affection towards you that's what had happened to me and that's why i am a very happy person and i personally realize now that power of love is the most important ingredient in one's life the purpose of happiness comes from the love power of love in fact the purpose of life is to create happiness in the society some of you have asked me what is the most important material thing we should care for in our life i personally feel we should take care of our health in fact health is the wealth if we can keep ourselves well we can earn wealth but if we have got wealth enough wealth we may not live well there is no guarantee that the wealthy person is the most healthiest person but most of the time healthy persons are wealthy person to some extent at least to work for themselves fend for themselves and family some of you have asked me that can happiness be bought very interesting question i must say happiness to me cannot be bought but sometimes some donation which is sting attest also help the society for example many people donate money wealth to build up a temple and that temple is named in their own family name for example in delhi many people say lakshmi narayan mandir is known as Brilla Temple is a sting attest of the Brilla family, but it helps people to spiritualism, religious bent of mind. Many people, especially in India, they don't donate for social purpose mostly, but they would like to donate to the temple. That is why in India. the richest entity are temples 
But if there is a string attached to the any donation, it does not give you full credit. And so you don't get by building up a temple, building up a college, the happiness, but it is so it benefits society. Even for the social social benefit, you should donate, of course. And with a sting attest, may not give you the happiness. You can't buy happiness. Happiness can come, as I have told you before also, from the power of love. I am lucky that you people has inculcated in me the power of love. I have learned the concept of love from my mother, from my wife and from all of you, all the gurus of mine, my teacher, my karma guru, my bosses, my dikha guru, all loved me so much that I have been mentally prepared for a spiritual world. And during the time of my service period, I worked eight hours for the company and four hours for the service I am supposed to give. I learned that from my Japanese friend who were the mountaineers and used to visit my brother Otonu from time to time. They always used to devote time of eight hours for their own work and four hours for the country. The concept of work I learned for the first time from Mr. P. M. Balen, who was the manager of PTI, thereafter from Mr. Prem Chand Gwenka, who was the director of finance of India Carbon Limited. In fact, I was following him so much that at one point of time, I was known as Gautam Gwenka. And he used to love to call me as Gautam Gwenka, even his wife, Vinudini Gwenka, always used to refer to me as Gautam Gwenka. It is the concept of work was inculcated in me by him.